This is exam two, day one. We're going to look at deep muscles of the back and muscles of the arm. So first thing we're going to do is, um, or deep muscles of the chest, sorry. We're going to go ahead and cut through some of our um, pecs, pec minor, pec major. When you're doing that incision, that cut though, make sure you don't cut through the vasculature that's down here. So you can see some of these arteries, veins, and some other stuff. So cut up to that. Once you get that cut, you want to kind of open the arm up and you can see some of the muscles you're already familiar with. So right here, that's that serratus ventralis that you well, looked at for last exam. Might show up on this next exam too. So serratus ventralis. There's your teres major. And then you have the last muscle, the scapula. That's the subscapularis right there. Now, right along the thoracic wall, we also have a couple muscles you want to know. They're underneath the vasculature. And so I've kind of isolated them out. You have one, two, three. Those are your scalenes. So this is scalenus anterior, scalenus medius, and separated right here, scalenus posterior. So you have AMP. The P is closest to, I guess, the armpit. So that's the scalenes. Now, if we work on over to the arm, kind of pull things down. Again, you're looking at that epitrochlearis, dorsal epitrochlearis. On the key, it's epitrochlearis. And then we can see the triceps. So we have triceps long head. What you're going to want to do is kind of take that triceps long head, work down, kind of pull it, so that you can isolate it on the other side from the triceps lateral head. Work along the triceps lateral head, cut through that, the belly of that muscle. So again, long head, lateral head of the triceps. And then below that, you can see the medial head, hence triceps, three different muscles. Once you lift that triceps lateral head, you can see the brachialis real well. And also this little muscle that's running over it that we're going to look at here in a moment, the brachioradialis. But once you lift that lateral head, also right at the elbow, that's the anconius. Now down to the forearm, I just want to use the fascia as a guide. And first muscle, again, runs right over that brachialis is the brachioradialis. Then you have two muscles here that we're going to leave as one complex. That's the extensor digitorum um, radialis, or sorry, extensor carpi radialis. And then you have the digitorums that run, well, to the palm of the hand, the digits. So that's extensor digitorum communis, extensor digitorum lateralis, and then we're back to an extensor carpi. This is extensor carpi ulnaris. This first muscle, this next muscle, first of the flexors, runs right along the edge of the arm, down to the elbow. That is the flexor carpi ulnaris. Working around, then want to lift, you can see the lines, lines of cleavage, and then right here we have um, palmaris longus, so we have flexor carpi ulnaris, palmaris longus, and then you can separate some of these out. So I'm pushing the palmaris to the side, just underneath it and kind of running next to it is the flexor digitorum profundus, followed by the flexor carpi radialis and the pronator teres. Next we're back to our brachioradialis and extensor carpi radialis. Last muscle right there is our biceps brachii and again looking at our triceps long head epitrochlearis. That's it.